Hey guys, and welcome to this video on logical equivalence. So in this video, we want to use the laws of logic to show that the following expressions are logically equivalent. And in the green rectangle here, I have our logical expressions. All right, so let's go ahead and get started by first uh, rewriting the left-hand side of the equation. And then we're gonna do a bunch of steps in between to get the right-hand side. All right, so on the left-hand side, we have P and P or not R or Q or Q and R, or Q and not R. Okay, and again, we're gonna do a bunch of steps in between uh, using the laws, and then we're hoping that we can transform the left-hand side to look like this, the right-hand side, not P implies Q. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we've already rewritten this equation on the left-hand side, and it wasn't a law, this was just given to us. So we're just gonna put given over there and we'll call this step one. Now let's go to step two. And in step two, um, we'll use the distributive law. So I'm gonna rewrite our expression here, P and P or not R or Q, or, and this is where we're gonna use that distributive law. So let me actually write the distributive distributive law first. Um, the distributive law states that if we have P and Q or P and R, then this is logically equivalent to uh, P and Q or R. All right. And what we have, um, what we have here is Q and R or Q and not R. So it's going to be logically equivalent to Q and R or not R. All right. So let's go ahead and write that and erase uh, this equation here. So now we get Q and R or not R. Okay, and here we use the distributive law. Distributive law. Okay. Now let's um. Uh, let's see what law we probably should use next. That'd probably be a good one. Um. We'll probably use the inverse law because of the R or not R there. And the inverse law basically states that if we have uh, P or not P, then that's logically equivalent to true. And what we have is R or not R. So this is also going to be logically equivalent to true as well. So I'm going ahead and uh, erase this here. And we're going to rewrite our uh, equation. So we get P and P or not R or Q or Q and true. All right. And that was using um, the inverse law. All right. Let's see what else we can do. So like we have that Q and true here. So like we can use the um, identity law to transform it and it states that if we have P and true then that's logically equivalent to uh, whatever P is and what we have is Q and true so it's gonna logically be equivalent to Q all right so let's go ahead and rewrite our equation we get P and P or not R or Q or just Q. And that was just using the identity law. All right. Next, uh, let's work on the uh, left side of that or operation. And we will manipulate this here. And we can do that by using the associative law. So the associative law states that if we have um, P or uh, P 
or Q or R, then that's logically equivalent to um, P or Q or R, which is also logically equivalent to P or Q or R. So you just notice that we um, are moving the parentheses. All right. So what we have is P or not R or Q, and we're going to make it logically equivalent to P or not R or Q with the parentheses. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, go to step five and rewrite our equation. So we get P and P or not R or Q. Okay, or Q. Now, the reason why we're using the associative law here is because of the next step. So I looked ahead. I saw that I want to um, basically use the absorption law right away, and I didn't want you all to get confused of how I got to this. So we're going to change this whole um, expression here on the left side of the OR operation uh, using the um, absorption law. So the absorption law basically states that if we have P and um, P and P or Q, and that's logically equivalent to P. And what we have is P and P or not R or Q. So this is going to log logically be equivalent to P as well. And let me show you uh, why. So look at the pairings. We have the P with the P. Uh, we have our and operations matching up. I even go as far as put um, the parentheses here so that they're matching up. Uh, we have the P and the P here matching up, the uh, OR operation and the other OR operation matching up. Then we have, uh, okay, we'll go back to the parentheses. We're going to come back to that Q, and we have those two parentheses matching up, and then we have this P here that's going to match up. So uh, what matches with that Q right there? Well, this whole statement, not R or Q. Okay. So that's what we're basically substituting in for the Q is not R or Q. All right. So now let's go to step six and rewrite our expression. So now we just get P or Q. And we did that just by using um, the absorption law. Okay. And now we're going to use double negation. So uh, the, double ne the double negation law basically states if we have um, P, well, I'll do it this way, if we have P, then that's logically equivalent to not not P, or vice versa. If we had not not P, that's logically equivalent to P. Okay. So we're going to change um, our P here. Uh, to not not p. And I think that's pretty straightforward. So we get not not p or q using the double negation law. Okay, now uh, the reason for that is because of this next step that we're going to use, which is the implication identity. Okay, and this basically states that um, not P or Q is logically equivalent to P implies Q. And again, what we wanted was not P implies Q. All right. So what we have currently is we have our not. Then we can think of um, uh, that P there as our not P, right? Or Q then that is logically equivalent to, well, let's see. That's logically equivalent to not P implies Q. 
Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. And rewrite our expression. So we get not P implies Q. And we did that using um, the implication identity. All right. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section. I'll be sure to leave links to other videos on logical equivalents and um, maybe the laws of logic. And please uh, hit that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it. Uh, maybe it'll help others. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.